heard Fat Cat reading the comments under this month's theme post was helpful because I was reminded of exactly why most of us like to watch K-dramas to start with. The length of the show is fixed, there is no chance of the plot dragging on for many seasons, the conclusion is almost always final and set. But, there are so many kinds of dramas. There are rare gems that have excellent plot, perfect length, and the best conclusion ever we would never want a sequel to those, it's too risky. What if they don't turn out like the original? Then there are the mildly good ones that leave us with an okay feeling. We kind of like, didn't like it, but definitely do not want a sequel, no thank you very much. There are also the fun and light slice of life dramas that we don't mind having a sequel to. Certain dramas with open endings which make us want more, but regret the sequel, looking at you mystery queen. Then the horrible ones, forget the sequel, even the first season shouldn't have existed. And finally, the dramas with so much potential, the plot picking up nicely in the first half keeping us invested, and then leading to, nothing. It just ends, leaving us stranded in the middle of nowhere. For which we need closure in a, sequel. For me, Moon Lovers, Scarlet Heart Ryeo was like that. It's kind of amazing how this show with cast and plot potential just fizzled out in the end. Just when Wang Se stepped up his game and decided to work only for himself and when Su finally woke up to the harsh reality of the Goryeo era and the Royals, I was all ready to enjoy the plot progression in the next episode, which never happened. I mean things happened but I felt like we had crossed the climax already halfway through the show. Throughout the show, Wang So's story interested me. He decided to take the throne for himself and be nobody's puppet anymore. Ironically, although he got what he wanted, he ended up being quite alone. He lost his only ally, the astrologer, and the woman he loved, Sue. Despite having power, luxury, and authority, he was lonely for the rest of his life, constantly surrounded by enemies. But I didn't understand how he got the throne. Did he really work for it or did paths just open up for him in the form of useless kings who were bad for the country and had to be removed? I felt that I needed a part 2 of this, one where I get closure with both plot and the OTP. Since Sue already came back to her current timeline in the end, obviously, she will run into modern day Chi also in Seoul. It would be interesting to see the modern take on SO's family and the struggle for power. Since the story would take place in 2018, difference in status won't keep our OTP apart. It was a big problem in the past and one of the reasons that I was alright with them not ending up together. I'd rather have her leave than remain as his concubine because she can never be the queen. In modern era though, there should be no problem for them to be together, provided we don't have the throwing water on girl's face mom-in-law who has also hopefully not, physically, scarred her son. Having this one big obstacle out of the way, I'm ready for Chibol so to maneuver his way to the top past his scheming brothers or cousins in this life, using both family and business politics, to not hurt the harmless brothers, and also be together with the woman he loves. I like to see an ambitious sir who wants the top position for himself. Not just because his older brothers are unfit, but because he is power hungry. And he also happens to love Sue, who happens to be an important factor in the storyline somehow. What? A person can be both the ladies need not die of any illness because voila. It can all be cured in this era. The individual plotline of the other harmless brothers, cousins won't have a very tragic ending because we have more opportunities than killing off characters in modern days. So we might get to see more subplots and character growth. Now, if this sequel follows its own storyline and not the Chinese sequel which derailed even more than its original, I think we can have Moon Lovers in Seoul, a redefined version with a consistently good plot and a much better ending. Wang Su did tell Su, through the audience, that he will find her no matter where she is so, see you in another life. Related Posts